just briefly about uh, about me and a uh, founder of and CEO of, of uh, Komala Tech. Uh, we've been in uh, in the ecosystem since 2007. Uh, we're dedicated to the ecosystem. Uh, so I'm a Canadian from 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 Mexico in Barcelona. So I'm still figuring out who am I. <laughs> uh, I'm a I mean a geek and a coder. I, I mean I am CEO and a reluctant CEO. I love the coding, our passions, our products. So, so we're very excited about that. So, so um, that's about me. So as I mentioned, uh, we are in the ecosystem since 2007. Uh, we have 12 employees now, and uh, we're one of the top uh, sellers of, of marketplace. Uh, these are some of the products we have. Uh, we have Komala Workflows is our main product uh, uh, since 2007. We have Canvas for, for uh, conference and Jira. But today I'm going to talk about our uh, workflows, uh, which is our most mature uh, product right now. We have a few thousand, a couple thousand customers since, since inception. Uh, we have focused from, from formal processes, formal approval uh, to simple approval, more, more like a dynamic uh, 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 checking, validation, and signing to prove. Uh, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about now is how you can use conference uh, when there's some regulations, when there's some compliance uh, in place. Uh, we're actually working uh, with cyber media, uh, with big customers working around uh, 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 quality management <coughs> systems. Uh, it's really neat because I mean, their companies are replacing the you know tens of hundred of hundred thousand dollars uh, systems with conference and our plugin and some customizations. But it's, it's working out very well. Uh, in terms of compliance, uh, this is the, the regulations we have dealt with. Uh -huh. From the, I mean, the most common is ISO 9001 compliance, you know, for document management. Uh, then we get into FDA compliance. This is the Food and Drugs Administration. Uh, when they want uh, different guidelines around electronic signatures, availability, and auditing of, of content. Uh, there are some other more about uh, process of uh, 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 so standard operation procedures uh, here in Europe. So we have had with customers in, in pretty much in every area uh, that requires regulation. Uh, the one I'm going to talk about, my, I'm going to dig more, more into the, this, is going to be uh, FDA, FDA compliance. You know, everything that has to do with the pharmaceutical industry in the U.S. or selling to the U.S. Uh, had to, have to meet these uh, regulations. Uh, they're a pain in the neck. Uh, they're very, very detail-oriented. Uh, uh, well, to a point, uh, but uh, they're very specific on what they want, uh, and so it's up to the customers, up to the, the implementation, up to the system uh, to 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 meet uh, or to justify how they meet their 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 how they comply with the guidelines. Uh, and in this, this specific one, I choose as a reference because it's, it's the most finicky and more detail oriented. So from here, uh, uh, you know, uh, ISO 9001 is, is it becomes simpler, simpler, right? It's just a matter of making the, the good statement and, and justifying it. So uh, what, what's with FDA is, uh, I mean, it's not about certifications. We don't certify our system. Nobody has a certified system. So what we do, what we have done with customers is they use conference, they use our, uh, our workflows uh, uh, add-on and they implement implement their workflows, they implement their policies, and there, you know, they they, they go through an audit. Uh, we have uh, Fortune 100 cost companies using it for this, uh, working on 100 or 300 spaces using using uh, our plugin for this. So, so wh what is it? Uh, again, this is about compliance. When, when we talk about compliance, it's not only about the system, right? Uh -huh. And we don't claim we, we do everything, right? So, so they're, they're, the, the solution we provide, the solution uh, for, for customers uh, on Confluence is a combination of, of, of tools, a uh, combination of, of policies as well, right? Uh, there is a lot of guidelines, a lot of requirements that can be met by Confluence itself. Another, another set of uh, 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 requirements uh, with our add-on, and then uh, there are a lot of specific uh, requirements on access control, passwords, uh -huh, which for which we recommend to delegate to the external uh, 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 user management system like uh, LDAP or, or Active Directory. And of course, there are the actual policies that have to be in place, right? This is, this is more about implementation. What conference, uh, just briefly, talk, let me talk about the specifics, right? Again, these are an FDA specific requirements. Uh -huh. Basically, it's just, you know, they have to have access control, they have to be accessible. 
uh, there had to be some, some control of who had access. There's some set, uh, obvious expiration and, and access control that had to be in place. This is already uh, uh, met by, by uh, uh, conflict itself, right? Um, what we have done also, and this is gonna come later, we're gonna put together a, a compliance statement uh, for FDA and for ISO 9001, which is gonna be on the specific requirement, how it is met with our system, with our solution. Uh, in addition to what conference can do, uh, then we get into the approval processes, right? So this is what uh, uh, Kamala workflows can do for you. Basically, it gives you the ability to create workflows that are a bit uh, specific per user or per role based. Uh, we provide a pro uh, audit trail. Uh -huh. So it's not only who modified what paid, but who modified and who approved pages. Uh, operations, administration operations around the workflow. So we, we add an additional uh, uh, admin uh, login for, 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 for compliance. Uh, and then we can have approvals based on roles. Again, uh, well, I think I already talked about this. Uh, one of the big requirements of FDA is electronic signature. So it's not only uh, approving, but there had to be some, some uh, electronic signature in place, such as username and password, and to have the, the, the proper validation uh, happening. Uh, and specific uh, here, uh, I'm talking about the, the, the approvals, right? So, so what happens here, I don't know how clear this is, my shares, it's not that clear. So what we have here is on pages, we have a, uh, the ability to define approvals. Yeah? On a per space basis, we can say, you know what, this uh, page is subject to, this space is subject to approval. So everything has to go through an approval uh, uh, workflow. So people can approve, can comment, and, and all the information is gonna get locked. Uh, sign approvals as well. Uh, again, uh, I mentioned that before, it's not only yes, I want to approve this document, it's okay, I had to be a uh, signature in place and that had to be locked as such. Uh, Role-based approvals, right? So you have, uh, uh, your workflow says that it had to be approved by somebody from, from uh, uh, project management office or for engineering or for uh, quality assurance. So, so you can define those roles and only members of those groups can, be, uh, can give this approval. Uh, the notion of approved version, what, what happens is uh, you work on a document, uh -huh, you get it to the approved state, to the published state, and then you can continue working on, 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 on new versions of the document. So we give you the ability from within conference, from within the same space you want, of say, okay, this is the approved version of my page, and we can continue working on drafts. So we can do this at the, at the page level, when you can say the, uh, the, version of, the approved version of a page, or we can do it at the space level. So you can have my draft space when more security is required, and then when everything goes, uh, uh, then I can part, make part of the, the, the approval process to publish to another space. Audit trail, uh, I mean, we, we all know the, the, the page history, right? Who modified what? Uh, uh, that's easy, but now we have, we also record the different states of, the, of, the, of your document, who, who approved it, what comment, uh, whether or not there were uh, electronic signatures in place. All this also at the same time can be embedded on the, on the, on the uh, final document when you, had, when you had to get the, the, the approved version of the document. Uh, it's implemented, you can also add, attach the, the uh, audit trail or the approval uh, trail. Uh, this is as far as a conference and uh, uh, workflows, right? So here you have all the approvals in place. There's the audit, uh, there's the role-based uh, uh, validation. Uh, other key elements on compliance, in this case on FDA, is around uh, password policies. Uh -huh. For here, uh, pretty much relying on, on, I think our recommendation is rely on, on uh, external uh, uh, user management. Uh, and the most common is uh, uh, Active Directory. So, so most people are just relying on that. I mean, we consider integrating this into into Confluence. I don't think it's, I think it's more delegated for that. And this is what people are doing right now. Uh, the most important thing here is okay. Uh, it's not only the the tool, and this is important. I mean. Uh, we, we work with a consultant and he told us, well, listen, it's, it's just the tool, it's just the tool, right? Uh, the bulk of the work is around the policies in place, right? So, so uh, what we have focused is to provide the tools, uh, working with experts uh, on the actual implementation, but again, it's, it's up to the customer 
uh, to define those those uh, uh, policies. Uh, our position is, you know, this is what we can do with Confluence. This is what we can do with with workflows, and then everything else up to you guys. Now, it's everything else is more into the, the policy stage. Um, what else? Again, uh, of course, uh, the tool is there. Uh, we, uh, our product, uh, Komala Workflows, has a workflow engine itself, right? When you can define the life cycle of your documents, you define as many uh, statuses or stages on your document, you define how they're being transitioned from one state to the other, uh, other and then uh, you define it and you, you, you enforce it, you enforce the role. So that has to be defined. Uh, we, we either work uh, with the customer, the, work, the customer themselves, or we work also with experts uh, on defining this workflow, like here, Cyber Media. Uh, they're giving us, uh, uh, we're working together on, on a number of projects and they, they have defined uh, very, very sophisticated approval workflows. And again, this is what part of the implementation, right? So we provide the tool, the workflows are defined, and then the tool just is just going to enforce it. Uh, in, in a nutshell, uh, I mean, this is this is something that we have done with Confluence. Uh, uh, I don't know, at least for the, the last five years, five six years, that people are using it for this. Uh, it's it's uh, we have identified this as a good uh, uh, a, a good niche, right? To 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 continue elaborating, right? Uh, to 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 promote more our service as a solution. Uh, working with experts and uh, with other other partners or well, ourselves too, I think is is important. We 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 finding that uh, it's a viable solution, right? When you talk about compliance, you 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 you, you talk about thousands and thousands of, of dollars. So now we 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 want to work with customers. Uh, we're going to start providing more uh, guidelines, and this is what's coming soon. We're going to start working with a compliance statement. We're going to start uh, putting together some uh, blueprints slash reference implementation. Uh, to help customers, right, to, to meet their, their, their requirements, you know, their, their, their uh, uh, compliance requirements with confluence, with our tools and with whatever tools are, are, are out there. And I guess that's it. Uh, we're going to be working with other, other standards. Uh, we're going to work with uh, more European standards. Uh, we've been in touch with uh, other experts and England clients to uh, try and trying to figure out what else or how we can help them better to, to meet <coughs> some some, uh, some of the regulations. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs>